Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civology, the study of civil engineering. As you guys can see over here that I have prepared a BBS of the given beam. Okay, the detail given in the diagram is that as you can see over here, two numbers of 12 millimeter bars are given and 8 millimeter bar stirrup is provided and three numbers of bottom bars are provided having size 12 millimeters and the span of the beam is 4800 millimeters okay and the quantity of steel required is 52.8 kgs for longitudinal bars and 13.4 kg for shear bars or shear enforcement or as you can say for stirrups so how can you prepare this BBS so in this video I am going to discuss in detail that how can you prepare a BBS for a beam or column or for any structural member okay so this is the format that we are going to follow first column is about description dia number of bars required for this beam and what will be the length of this longitudinal bar required what is the unit weight and what is the total quantity and how is the shape of this longitudinal bar and what is the shape of this stirrup okay so you guys are requested to watch complete video so that you do not miss a single point and at the end of this video you will be able to make the BBS of any beam or column so let's start our today's topic let's have a look at this diagram which is provided to us and which is available to us as uh, we will have to extract some data from this as you can see over here the length is given as 4800 millimeters and if we want to extract some further data which will be required to prepare BBS uh, we will have to cut the section we will require a section of the beam and the further detail that we can extract from this diagram is the width of the beam which is 230 millimeters and depth of the beam which is 500 millimeters okay and the uh, further data that we can extract of uh, the data which is given to us is that three numbers of bars are provided in the bottom bottom bars are three in numbers and the size of the bar is 12 millimeters as and it is also obvious in this cross section that three numbers of 12 millimeter bars are provided in the bottom okay and further it is uh, uh, that top bar two numbers of top bars are provided as it is also obvious in the cross section that two numbers of 12 millimeter bars are provided on the top side of the beam okay and the stirrups provided are at the spacing of 200 millimeters that is 200 from center to center okay the spacing between each stirrup is 200 millimeters and the size of stirrup bar is 8 millimeters okay and the clear cover the concrete cover clear cover is also called as concrete cover and it is 25 millimeters and as you can see over here this is called development length that is for better encourage of concrete and steel and for to make a better bond between steel and concrete we will have to provide steel in this shape which is called as development length and it is the length which extends beyond the length of the beam as you can see over here this is called as development length and it is usually taken as 50 times diameter of the bar and diameter of the bar over here is 12 millimeters okay so this data can be extracted from the given diagram okay so let us proceed towards the calculations and solutions first of all we will calculate the bottom bar length the length first of all we will calculate the length of the bar the number of the stirrups the length of the stirrup and at the end we will calculate the weight of these steel bars so you guys are requested to watch complete video so that you do not miss a single point and it will be more valuable for you if you focus on the screen and watch each and every step okay so the length of the bottom bar is 4800 as it is given over here 4800 plus two times development length as you can see over here development length is provided on both sides of the beam 
so it is two times development length and development length is 50 times diameter of the bar and diameter of bar is 12 millimeters and it will comes out to be 6000 millimeters which is equal to 6 meters similarly to calculate the length of bottom bar it is same as that of top bar and it is equal to 4800 plus two times of development length as you can see over here this development length is also provided in the top bar okay and it is equal to 50 times diameter of the bar and they are two in numbers on both sides and it will also equal to 6000 millimeters or you can say six meter so these are the lengths of the top and bottom bars okay now to calculate the stirrups how much number of stirrups will be required for this length of the beam so to calculate the number of stirrups we will use this formula that is span divided by spacing span of the beam is 4800 and the spacing between stirrups is 200 plus 1 will be added okay we will get the total number of stirrups required for this beam at the spacing of 200 millimeters okay just keep these figures in your mind okay now uh, calculating the stirrups we will have to deduct the concrete cover as there is a free space or you can say the concrete cover we will subtract the concrete cover from the outer dimensions of the beam okay so 500 minus two times clear cover as clear cover will be deducted from top and bottom okay and the clear cover is given as 25 millimeters we will get the dimension a which is 450 millimeters which is the uh, you can say the depth of the stirrup or height of the stirrup on both sides okay similarly we will have to calculate the distance b which is the horizontal distance as you can say the this length of the stirrup so we will have to deduct concrete cover from right and left side okay so it will be equal to 230 minus 2 times clear cover from both sides and it will be equal to 180 millimeters okay i hope you are getting my point so to calculate the length of the stirrup we will use this formula that is 2 times a plus b okay the sides of the stirrup the uh, vertical side and then this horizontal side plus hook length as you can see over here there are two number of hooks provided in the stirrup hook length then there is bend deduction as you guys know that when we bend the steel it elongates okay so we will have to deduct the elongation which is caused by bending okay so by putting values the value of a and b then there is hook length hook length is usually taken as 10 times d the length of the hook is as you can see over here this length should be equal to 10 times d d is the diameter of the bar which is 8 millimeter over here okay and as you can see over here if we make a stirrup we make it in this shape we bend the uh, st steel in this uh, manner okay so it make the 135 degree bend over here and this end is also bent in 135 degree so here we have two 135 degree bends and three 90 degree bends one two and three these three are 90 degree and these three bends are 135 degree bends okay so by putting values two times 10 times 8 it is the diameter of the bar which is for hook length and if we have 135 degree band the deduction is 3 times diameter of the bar and bar is 8 millimeters okay and for 90 degree band the deduction is 2 times diameter of the bar and the number of 90 degree band is 3 okay and the number of 135 degree bands are 2 okay and by simplifying this we will get the total length of each 8 millimeter bar required to make the shape of this stirrup okay and it can also be written as 1.34 meters so this is the length of each bar will which will be required to make this shape of the stirrup now coming towards the weight calculation uh, we will calculate the weight of top bar and bottom bar as we know that unit weight of 12 millimeter bar is calculated as d square divided by 162 
now there are different uh, formulas used to calculate the unit weight of the steel bars i have discussed this in detail in one of my previous videos i will share the link in the description also watch that video to clear your concept you can calculate the weight in different units like lb per fit kg per fit or you can say kg per meter so here we are calculating the in the units of kg per meter and this formula will be used d square divided by 162 d is the diameter of the bar which is 12 millimeters divided by 162 we will get 0 0.88 kg per meter now this is the uh, weight of the bar which is one meter in length okay the length of the bar if the length of the bar is one meter and dia is 12 millimeter its weight will be 0 0.88 kg okay so and we know that length of the top and bottom bar is 6 plus 6 which is 12 meters and the total number of bars is 5 in numbers as you have seen the cross section two bars are provided on the top and three bars were provided in the bottom so total number of bars is 5 and by multiplying 5 by 12 we will get 60 meters 60 meters is the total length required for this beam now by multiplying it by its unit weight we will get the total weight required for longitudinal bars which is 52.8 kgs okay this is the weight of the longitudinal bars required for this beam now to calculate the weight of the stirrups as we have already calculated the length of each stirrup is 1.34 and the total number of stirrups required is 25 numbers and the total length is 25 which is the numbers of the stirrup multiply by the length of each stirrup we will get the total length of 8 millimeter bar required to make 25 numbers of stirrups okay and now to calculate the unit weight of 8 millimeter we will use the same formula d square divided by 162 by putting values we get that 0 0.4 kg per meter okay and by multiplying the total length with the unit weight we will get the total weight of stirrup required for this beam which is 13.4 kg okay i hope you have understand and now just by putting all these values in a tabular form which says that first column is about description second one is about dia of the bar third one is number of bars then there is length of the bar the weight unit weight of that bar then quantity and then shape longitudinal bars as you can see over here the the size of the longitudinal bars were 12 millimeters and they were 5 in numbers and the length of a single bar is 6 meters and if we add top and bottom bars it will be 12 meters okay the unit weight is 0 0.88 kg per meter 52.8 kg and the shape of this bar will be like this okay and for stirrups the dia used was 8 millimeters and the total numbers were 25 and the length of each stirrup is 1.34 and total quantity of steel required for stirrup is 13.4 kg and this will be the shape of these stirrups i hope you guys have understand the topic and if you want me to make a video on a certain topic let me know in the comments i will make a detailed video on that topic in the end you are requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today